All right, the last five boxes are finally here. We're gonna load up and get the heck out of here. If he's gonna challenge me, I accept your challenge, Rod. All you Stingray Biology fans rooting for me, I will beat Rod on this challenge. Keep in mind, I have a lot of fish sitting in the car right now, and I'm just trying to slap this together. All right, guys, Kevin from Stingray Biology here. So I'm here at the airport. It's Friday night. I'm waiting for the cargo people to uh, get our fish ready. They said it's not at the warehouse yet, so I gotta wait. Uh, who knows how long it's gonna take. I'll probably, hopefully, hopefully it won't take more than another half hour, but with these guys, sometimes you never know. All right, so I will keep you guys updated, and um, I'm probably just gonna sit here and watch some YouTube videos, right? It's now about 10.45. I'm still here at the airport. Uh, part of the shipment oh, is already ready. It's loaded up in the car right there, but five boxes were missing And we just are at the mercy of the airlines waiting for them to bring us the rest of the boxes. Well, it's finally here uh, They just brought I don't know, the forklift is blocking it. They're breaking it down right now So hopefully it won't take too much longer to get the last five boxes and I'm out of here So it's already been a long night and the night is just beginning. I still have to repack all this stuff and get it all back out to the airlines by 6 a.m. So it's an all-nighter for me. All right, the last five boxes are finally here. It's now about 10.50. We're gonna load up and get the heck out of here. Okay, guys, so I'm back at my shop now. I think it's about 11.45. There are all the boxes. Um, I'm waiting for a buddy of mine to show up to give me a hand, but while I was at the airport waiting and I'm watching through some YouTube videos, I watched Rod's new video today. And I'm guessing that he's calling me out, okay? Um, he did this DIY acclimation system, so you call it, right? And now he's challenging me to do something better. I think he's trying to pull a fast one on me, you know, throwing it in there like that last second and not giving me time because he knew I had this shipment coming. And now I got to put together this DIY acclimation system real quick. I'm just gonna put my MacGyver skills to use and I'm gonna try to whip up something real quick, get something going and see if I can beat his system and I'll use it for acclimating some of these fish, okay? I'm not truly acclimating it to put it into tanks here. What I'm actually doing is repacking, but I'm gonna whip something up because if he's gonna challenge me, I accept your challenge, Rod, and I'm gonna beat you, okay? I don't know by how much because you really didn't give me much time, but I'm gonna do my best, okay? And uh, let's see how it goes. All right, guys, so I did a little bit of thinking and I think I know what I want to do. All right, so come follow me. I'm gonna go into my, my uh, I don't know what you call this, you know, I'm a neat freak, everything's organized here. I got PVC, bulkheads, screens, air, electrical, couplings, clamps. So first thing is I found this tray, okay? So this is an actual plastic, I think some kind of Rubbermaid tray. So. Just right there alone, I'm one up on you, Rod. You use the foam box, I'm using a plastic tray. All right, so that's what we're gonna use. Now, I'm gonna put a bulkhead on it, okay? Instead of just plugging that screen through. Let's see here, let's find the right bulkhead. Uh, where are you, where are you? I want a short one here. Okay, let's see, all right, here we go. This looks perfect, all right? So we got my bulkhead. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill it right there. Um, let's take that away. Let's see, I need a screen for it so that the fish don't go through. Uh, oh, this nice, fancy, flat screen. It'll go right on this just like that. So even small fish can't get through. All right, I'm just gonna leave that here. Let's grab this stuff. What else would I need? Okay, I got. I gotta get my drill. Oh, okay, here's my drill. Um, Teflon tape. Actually, there's one more piece I forgot. Let me head back there. This piece, actually, the bar, one-inch bar tape. 
Okay. Here we go. Come on, guys. All you Stingray Biology fans rooting for me, I will beat Rod on this challenge. Here we go. Now keep in mind, I have a lot of fish sitting in the car right now, and I'm just trying to slap this together, beat Rod on the challenge, and then go take care of the fish and then ship it out tonight. But when somebody calls me out like that, you know, I gotta rise to the occasion. Alright, let's see here. I previously found this one, but I decided to go with this black one here. All right, I'm put on this cart. Now you guys seen me work out of this room before. You know, this is where my water source comes in and this is where I get my water, right? Now, when I first set up this room, I already laid down the infrastructure, okay? Look at what I have here, right there. My drain line, okay? So all I gotta do is just remove this cap here, okay? Now, come on, come off. This was here for years. So now, what am I going to do? I'm going to drill this, slap on the bulkhead, put a one inch hose from underneath here and go right into my drainage line which goes out to the sewer. So I won't have water all over the floor, okay? Which is another step better than Rod, I think, right? Rod was just letting it run through the floor. So hopefully, I'm going to get all this done within a few minutes and then you guys decide whose DIY system was better. Uh, let's see here, let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do it this way so that that bulkhead sticks out over the back. Okay, I'm just gonna slam this one right here. Uh, yeah, right in the middle is fine, there we go. Okay, got my hole, set that aside, Let's get the scrap out of here, got my bulkhead, take the screen off, clean that scrap off, slap that right in there, oh watch it comes to this side so you can see it, screw on that bulkhead, Now since this is not really high pressure, I'm just gonna hand tighten it, all right? That there, let's see, I got this barb here, and I got some Teflon tape, just so it won't leak. Okay, I'm gonna slap some Teflon tape on there, not too much, just a little bit, okay? Done. Get that right in there, nice. Nice, good fit. There we go. Look at that. One, two, three. Get the screen on here. And look at that. Okay. What are we gonna do here? Oh, uh, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna get some more hose. I'll be right back. You know, given what I do here, I like to have a little bit of everything on hand because you never know when something breaks down and when something goes wrong. So, you know, I have like this one inch hose. You saw over there, I had all those bulkheads and fittings and everything else. Um, just in case, you never know because, you know, I'm dealing with live animals and I like to be prepared and have everything on hand. Let's see, I'm gonna plug that right in there. And it looks like I only need about I'm gonna take it one step further. Follow me. So, I've had this stuff. Oh, I had this tray here. I can use this one. This is something I made a while ago, and it was meant for acclimating fish. Okay? Look at this. Okay, I made it myself. I bought this tray at Walmart or Home Depot or wherever. I cut it out, and then I took window screen. Okay, and I put it right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I put the fish in here, the acclimate water in here, the dirty water comes out here, and also I can pour the water out without um, losing the fish. And this was something that I had made before. And look, 
two-part system. The water is going to go in here. The fish are going to be in here. Okay? And this is like kind of my uh, makeshift drain table, so to speak. The water drains out this stream, goes out that drain, down the drain line. I need to grab the fish and go. All right? I don't have to be netting it out of here and whatever. So let's put this system to the test, all right? I opened up this first box. Let's check it out. Can you guys tell what this is? It's something that Rod's been wanting for a really long time. It's, oh, come on, come take a look. It's the bambooza. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Okay, so we're gonna keep opening those boxes, all right? And then I'll come back to you as we get each box open because the tape on these things, on these boxes is crazy. It takes like five minutes to open it up. So I'm not gonna waste your time showing you just me peeling off tape, all right? As I get the box open, I will show you the fish, all right? I'll be right back. All right, check it out, guys. We opened another box. We got some bass here. Um, I'm not sure, are these Arenos? We had ordered Azules, but this doesn't look like Azul. This looks like Arenos. All right, but they look very healthy. I'm just gonna change some of this water, and then we'll move on to the next box. But see, very healthy. All right, we're at, uh, I think, the third or fourth box. I don't remember now. We just kept going. But here, check out these aerial barbs. They are really nice. Very healthy. Let me pull, see if I can pull a couple up for you guys to check it out. Very nice. These guys get very big, too. Let's see if I can scoop another one. Oh, come on, come on, guy. Ah, there we go. All right, well, yep, but they look really good. Look at this. It's a big mess, but we're getting there. Okay, boys and girls, we reached a very special fish here. Okay, uh, you, there's actually probably not too many in the United States. This is the legendary Siamese tiger fish, also known as the wide bar datnoid. Oh my goodness, look at that beauty. Woohoo! It's pretty big too. Whoa, don't fall. Nice, nice. This was a pre ordered fish, okay? So, unfortunately for all you guys, you just get to look at it. Um, this fish is already sold. But if anyone is interested, feel free to contact me or Rod. Try to hit it with a flash and see if the color is better. Uh, Oh yeah, much better with the light. Let me turn it around. Come on, baby. Oh. These fish are so gentle once you get out of the water. They stay very still. Very nice piece. Lucky owner. All right, guys. Here's another fish that uh, it's one of my all-time favorites. And I think it's Predatory Finn's, uh, Rodrigo's favorites too, because we bring it in all the time and we love these fish. Look at them. Platinum red tails. These are super quality. Very white. Has a has like a metallic shine to them too. Insane, insane. Very good quality. I think I'm going to keep one for myself too. I can't believe how nice these guys are. Beautiful. They'll be for sale at Predatory Fins. Uh, he will probably have it uh, within the next day or two, all right? It's been a really long night. I think it's about like almost 3 a.m. I'm pretty much finished up. Uh, the car's all loaded. I got to clean up all this mess, all this trash. But now that I'm done, I want to show you my acclimation system, all right? I saved one bag that I can do the acclimation system, and it's right here, and we're going to show you right now. Okay, so again, my system's all set up. I got the drain hole. It's going into my drain line right there and this is my fresh water coming in um, so basically this acts as a sink and then I got this tray here where I pull all the fish into oh, come on right, come closer my go show them no, 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 just don't. okay so the water is going into my tray and it's gonna exit see the water exiting out the stream look at that how beautiful and look at what we got here 
a bag full of albino silver arowanas. Look at how beautiful those bad boys are. You know what? I probably don't even need this screen. Oh, huh, whatever. Let the screen go. Oh, let me take the screen off. I don't like it. So the water can go a little bit faster. See, look at that. Draining like a sink. You see that? Michael, are you showing them that right there? See, it's draining like a sink. Ta -ta -da! Okay, so now, okay, back up. So now I'm going to add my water here. See, slow little trickle. Look at that. I'll slow it down just a bit. It's actually a little bit too fast. Okay, look at that. Okay, huh? Okay, so the fresh water going in, the water's exiting out the screen. Show them from this side, Michael. See, show the water, it's exiting through the screen. And voila. Ta -ta -da! All right, so this is the way I built my DIY acclimation system. And I did it fairly quickly as well. But of course, like I said, I had some infrastructure laid down for it already. Um, but. When I build the other system, it's going to be a full permanent table and I'll have a, a big table like this that acts as a drain, uh, drain table or a sink and then a lot of these little trays and buckets with um, a water line with multiple ball valves and that way I can serve many, many different uh, trays of fish all at the same time, right? So look, beautiful. And these arowanas are beautiful. Oh my God, look at the color on these things. Woo! Magnificent. Really nice. It's now 4.07 a.m. and I'm on my way back to the airport to drop off this shipment. The work we put in to get these fish to you guys, it's, it's not easy, man. Fish business is not easy. There it goes. 12 boxes on its way to Fort Lauderdale. They're putting it on the scale right now. Let's see how much this shipment weighs. Five hundred and ninety pounds. Bam. All right, it's on its way. It is now five a.m. in the morning. Even at this time, it took an hour for me to check in the cargo. Ridiculous. I thought I was going to be in and out of that place. Headed home now. It's probably gonna be sunrise by the time I get home. I'm sleeping for at least 12 hours.